Hi guys, it's your boy Harry King's in the building. Harry King Beats. It's all about the FL Studio. FL Studio for the beginners. Today I will be showing you guys the basics of how to locate your frequencies so that your kick and your bass can stand order, can stand correctly in your mix. Okay, now let's go. You can see now is the kick and the bass playing so let's look for the frequency of the kick as you can see i applied the parametric eq2 on the kick for locating my frequency so like we said to know where the frequency of each instrument is the place where the light the pinkish color is indicating the place the place if you check the place that the color is more noticed that is where the frequency of the kick is likely to be okay the frequency of that instrument not only the kick okay so i am going to search for the frequency of this kick can see our frequency is falling at 55 hz yeah that is where i think our frequency is falling at the frequency for this kick the right frequency from what i'm seeing here and from what i'm getting from my ears is at 55 hz okay so let's let's leave it at this what am i going to do next i am going to cut off the other frequencies are that is not needed here so i'm going to cut it off okay i think let's take this for a good okay okay now this is where our kick is 55 hz now i i what am i what am i what i'm going to do now is i am going to go for the base all right i will go to the base and search for the frequency of the base i will mute the kick Yeah, from what I am seeing here, our frequency is at the range of 140 is a good range for us here. 140, 140 is a good frequency range for us. The frequency for this, what I'm seeing here is 140, so I'm going to bring it down. Okay. by 2.5 db okay now i'm going to cut the unwanted frequencies i don't need the unwanted frequencies i don't need i'm going to cut it off i'll go by low pass and um, change to eight and take it off at least i will leave it at the here is okay because i have to cut it off so that the mid-range other instrument that will be using this mid-range can express themselves okay Now, take note, the frequency for our kick is 55Hz, alright? So now, what am I going to do? I am going to cut off 55 off from here, okay? So let's use this and look for where the 55 is. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I should be. I'm cutting off 55 so that there will be there will be room for it. Okay. For the kick to have its role to play. Okay. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna You see, I am I'm making room. The reason I'm cutting this 55 is for the kick, because if kick is the owner of this frequency, so the kick can express itself. Alright? Okay, are you getting me now? Alright. Okay, now let's 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go now to the kick. And as you can see, the kick is now expressing himself. If I mute the frequencies of the bars, you will notice the bars is overshadowing the kick. If I enable it, you can see the kick. So I will have to take 140 off from the kick. I'm going to look for 140 frequency, 140, and cut it off. Forty lies. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it up and um, and bring it down so that there will be there will be room for for the bass to express. If you can see everything is sounding clear now. You can see everything is sounding clear. You can hear the kick. You can hear the bass. No one is overpowering anyone. See now, if I take away the, I'm taking now. You see, you can see it. You can notice it now. You see, you see. This is what I'm talking about. Now, if I apply the frequency of this and this, you will notice the clarity of it. You see, my brother and my sister, my brother, my brother, my friends. This is how to apply your frequencies this is how to search for your frequencies and adjust your kick and bass to stand correctly when you start balancing the game you notice you won't have any challenge because everything has been set in order okay guys if you find this tutorial helpful to you please guys please please don't fail to subscribe please don't fail to subscribe subscribe so that you can be getting tips from me see you guys in the next tutorials love you all see you in the next video